What is up, you guys? This is your boy and the Matrix, and today I am going to review. I am going to review the PlayStation Plus Premium Plan. That it's right, guys. So the PlayStation Plus just released today, June 13, and it's got three different plans. I, I mean, I talked about it before. It's got the essential plans with all the basic needs, right? It's got the extra plans, which has like a lot of the um, kind of like the PlayStation three games right and then it's got the premium plan which has absolutely everything cloud gaming ca classic games catalog uh game trials um exclusive content and a whole bunch of stuff monthly games you get the point right it's cost 17 dollars, and actually with taxes it's like 19 dollars, well almost 20 dollars, really so I'm pay so with taxes i'm paying 20 dollars a month with this plan right um and I do have one complaint. Okay, I do have one complaint about the PlayStation Plus, and that is that you cannot you cannot play the cloud gaming. Like if you're trying to do the cloud gaming, if you're playing on your gaming or your gaming PC, like I do, you need a you need a PlayStation Four controller. You, if you have a PlayStation Five controller, it's not gonna work. You can't play it. To play on the PC with the PlayStation Plus, you need a PlayStation Four controller. It pissed me off because I had to get up and go to Walmart and buy a $70 or $60 PlayStation 4 controller. I was pissed, right? Because you have a modern PlayStation 5 controller that's nice and fancy, and then it doesn't work with the cloud version. But anyways, that's beside the point. That's, the, that's one of the things that pissed me off. Uh, but other than that, um, it has a lot of games. It has a lot of good, decent games. You know, and uh, I'm going to show it to you right now. So if you are a PC gamer like I am, make sure to get yourself a PlayStation 4 controller to so that you can play the PlayStation Plus um, <clears throat> cloud streaming, because that's basically what it is. Now, if you have a PlayStation, if you have a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, you're not going to have much problems, right? You're not going to have any problems. It's only if you're a PC gamer that you're going to have to, you know, get your... Get yourself a new controller if you don't already have one. That is like I did, because I was so comfortable with the PS5 when I went when I became a PC gamer. Anyways, on with the review. So, here we go. All right. So first of all, let's go through the list of games. Let's go through the list of games. So it says here must play. We got Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Assassin's Creed, 2K22, Ghost of Tsushima, which I was actually playing. Red Dead Redemption, Guardians of the Galaxy, which I'm not interested in, uh, Naruto Ninja Storm 4, Mortal Kombat, Horizons, God of War, uh, Bloodborne, right? Uh, what else we got? Ter Terraria, Injustice, Friday the 13th, um, and then action games. Let me go through these. I should have a lot of pretty cool games here. I'm not going to lie, man. Control for Honor. It, on my list, I got Final Fantasy VIII, Shadow of the Colossus, one of my favorite games for the PlayStation uh, PlayStation 3. Shadow of the Colossus, Horizon, Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, adventure games, see shooters. They got Doom. They got Shadowfall, Alienation, Raiden, Foreclosure, Wild Guns. thought it was Wild Guns for a second. Uh, they got Matter, Caladrina. Got a lot of cool games here. I'm not a racing game type of person. I'm an RPG. This is this is my show. This is what, what I'm for right here. See? Blood by Flame. Dark Rose Valkyrie. What's this? Omega Quintet. Witch and uh, 100 Night. Child of Light, Missing, all right, what else we got? Kids, Fighting Games. They got, is this Virtual Fighter? This Virtual Fighter? I can't, I can't even tell. Uh, they got the Power Ranger Fighting Game, Battle for the Grid, Dead or Alive. Oh, this is an old PlayStation game. Um, all right, what else we got? Simulations, City, Skyline, Car Mechanic. Got a lot of simulation game strategies. Strategy games, editor's choice. 
They got Far Cry. They got Final Fantasy X. Gravity Rush, Celeste. What else they got? Injustice. Uh, they got Injustice in a bunch of lists. PlayStation 3, they got God of War, Resident Evil. I don't know which one this is. Ratchet and Clank. PlayStation 3 game, God of War 2. Um, Batman Arkham Original, Ratchet and Clank. Dark Stalkers. Devil May Cry. Oh, they got all three? I think is that all? Oh, HD Collection. They got the old Devil, old uh, Devil May Cry games. Saints Row Two, Infamous, Tokyo Jungle, Injustice. Uh, what else they got? They got uh, this is a PS3 game. Resident Evil Code, Veronica. Um, Castlevania, Resident Evil again. Rain, Street Fighter, Epic Mickey, The Power of Two. Oh shoot! They got post. Oh, yeah! They got Puzzle Fighters Two Turbo. Holy crap! I used to play this game when I was. Oh my god! I didn't even know they had this in the list. I gotta try this. I'm gonna be streaming some of these games, guys. Uh, Agaris War, an RPG. Phineas and Fur, Brave. They got a Brave game? What else they got? What else they got? Another RPG, Black Knight Sword, Legas Legasista, Ninja Gaiden 3, Extreme Legends, Conflict, Ghostbusters. What else they got? Mars. Fairy. Okay, Blood Knights. There are shit little games here. Uh, some that I didn't even know about. So, all right. So then remastered versions. Let's see what we got here. Remastered God of War, Mafia, Beyond Two Souls, Gravity Rush, Crisis, Heavy Rain, Metro, Bioshock, Dark Siders. Another Dark Siders game. Oh. Wait, which one is this one? Left Behind Stand Alone. Got to try that one. Star Wars. Uh, Mark of the Wolves. A lot of remastered games. Batman. Last of Us Remaster. Gotta, I'm marking some of these, man. Saints Row. God of War. All right. PlayStation 2, they got Jack and Daxter all over the place. Dark Cloud. Oh, I, I, I got to play this one, definitely. Dark Cloud 2. Uh, Wild Arms. Holy shit. Fantavision. Toy Story 2 for PlayStation 2. They got the Tekken. IQ, Ape Escape, Jumping, Siphon, Wild Arms, Bounty Hunter, and we're back in a circle. And then A, A to B, Agents, got a bunch of Valhalla. All right, I'm not going to go through the whole games. All right, so you guys, you guys got a good idea of like what like. You guys got to do a good idea, right? So now let's go ahead and play some games. Let's see me. Let's just check it out here. Let's go ahead and play some games. And I am going to go and I'm going to play something that I can do right now. Let me go back to my list. Actually, yeah, let's play some Street Fighter. All right, let me get my PlayStation controller. Wait. Okay, let's get my PlayStation controller. Okay, select, start. So right now what it's, what's doing is like, it's just preparing my game, right? The great thing about this, because it's cloud gaming, it's not using a lot of computing power, 
really when it comes to cloud gaming, what really matters is your internet connection. And that's what I like. And what sucks about cloud gaming is that you don't own shit. <laughs> you don't own any of these games. You're just renting them, bro. Popcorn. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let us take a look, baby. As you can see, my mouse is right in front here. Let me just try to get it out of the way. Oh my God. Wow. Man, this brings back memories, man. Single player, arcade mode. Okay, let's do arcade. Play all X mode, battle, select. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm gonna try it easy. I'm not trying to get, you know, my ass beat. They only got four characters? What was Sakura? Let's go, let's go, baby. All right, anyways, uh, let's try something else. Let's try, um, let's try something else. Let's try to play. Actually, let's play Ghost of Tsushima. I was just playing this. All right. So I'm gonna pick up where I left up. I was actually playing this, so let's go. The Tsushima Island is the first step in the Mongol invasion of mainland Japan. Castle Kanada. They're holding your uncle inside. <clears throat> All right, let's go, Yuna. The walls are too high to climb. Yeah, man. So you guys, you, you have a, a lot of games at the tip of your fingers, man. This is really cool. Set fire to our best swordsman. Humiliated my uncle. I'm kind of pissed that they don't have Kingdom Hearts, but maybe they'll have it later. Pay his kindness. By repeating the same mistakes that got your friends killed. That's what the Mongols will think. But this time, I'll strike first. Wait here until I finish them. Lord Shimura, we'll need a quick escape. I'll get the horse is ready. Do it. Oh, I took out the subtitles. If I'm not back soon, ride for the forest. All right, so I'm going to save my game. All right, then I'm going to exit title screen. All right, guys, so that was just an example. Um, so basically, uh, the PlayStation, the place, you, you got to actually download. I forgot to mention that you actually got to download the, if you're a PC game, you got to download the PlayStation Plus to your desktop. And then what, whenever you click on a game, it actually opens another window for you to play. Right, so I just exit this window, then I'm going to go back. All right, so yeah, man, that was Ghost of Tsushima on the PlayStation, on the uh, PlayStation Plus. So I gotta say, I'm I'm actually very happy, especially that I could go back and play some of these games like the Dark Cloud. I'm I'm, I'm very happy, and you know, you can always go back and try other new other games for the heck of it, <clears throat> just because. And um, yeah, I, I I do not regret buying this. I don't regret it. 
Like, I know it's cloud gaming. I don't really own any of these games, but the fact that you can play them whenever you want, it's it's a doozy. I mean, it's it's something, you know? It, it's really cool. Uh, but what I do like about... I mean, but I much rather buy games from the Epic Game Store and the Steam Store because that way you, you quote-unquote, own a digital copy and, and actually you can sell the digital copy as well. And you can actually do different things to the digital copy as well. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it for my review of PlayStation Plus. And as you can see, I'm going to show you uh, how it looks on my desktop. It's this little icon right here on my desktop. I'm a PC gamer. Uh, if you are, if you have a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, um, you know, you just basically download it right to your console and that's it. So whatever your thoughts are about the PlayStation Plus, Make sure to comment below, tell me what you think, like this video guys, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for future notifications. I'm going to be streaming some of these games on the channel. I'm going to be streaming them, uh, especially Shadow of the Colossus, um, Dark Cloud, Wild Arms. Man, um, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. So, right guys, this is your boy Andy Matrix. Thank you for watching. Godspeed.